Hey, fourth grade, Miss Arsenal here with your week six workout. Um, this week's work exercise or activity is um, creating and completing a spin board using a fidget spinner if you have one. And this idea comes to you from um, Pinterest. Um, and it was pinned by or posted by Teacher Pay Teacher Pins or TPT. So thank you to Teacher Pay Teacher for this idea. This is my spin board here. Right now it's blank, but we'll discuss what you fill it in with in just a second. So what you'll need is a sheet of paper, eight and a half by eleven. I used cardstock because that's the first thing I found. But you can just use a regular sheet of printer paper. Again, eight and a half by eleven. Mm. I took a bowl. I took a bowl from my um, kitchen cabinet, just a plastic reusable recyclable um, carry out container. I turned it upside down. I traced the edges while it was laying on um, my countertop, so on a flat surface. And then once um, the edges were traced, I put my bowl away and I just grabbed my scissors and cut around the edges. So that's how I created my circle. Once I had my circle, I folded it in half three times. Once, twice, and three times. Then I unfolded it. I took a ruler and marker. And I just bolded the um, line. So I put my ruler all the way across, took a marker, and made the lines a little bolder. Okay, once you have this, then you're going to get a pencil and fill in each of the eight sections of your spin board. In each section, you will um, write a different exercise. Okay, since we have a, you, you'll have a total of eight sections, I suggest you do two upper body exercises, um, two lower body exercises, two core exercises, and two um, cardio exercises. Examples of upper body exercises or, um, are push-ups, um, crab walks, or tricep dips while you're in the crab walking position. You can also do wall push-ups. An example of a lower body exercise would be a squat or a lunge. Um, I can do walk lunges. I can do reverse lunges. Um, I can do what else? That's all that's coming to my mind right now, but I'm sure... That you guys can come up with some other oh calf I can do calf races or um, heel raises where I stand we did the last week I believe where I stand with my feet shoulder width apart and I just lift my heels off the ground so I'm standing on my um, toes that's another good um, leg workout or lower body workout um, for core exercises I can do um, I can do bridges while I lay on my back. We did that last week as well, I believe. I can do curl-ups, sit-ups. Um, I can do planks. And for um, total or for cardio exercises, I can do jumping jacks. I can do skiers, um, high knees, jogging in place, those types of things. But you make this work out your own. So... Think about eight different exercises and fill in your spin board. Once you've completed your spin board with the eight different exercises, then you're going to need a fidget spinner or some object to spin. And this is the um, fidget spinner that I'm going to use today. And if your fidget spinner doesn't have one identifiable end, like here, this would be my identifiable end because it looks different 
and these two sides. If your all three of your pointers of your spinner look the same, then you're going to need to mark one side. So um, you can determine that side as your pointer. You can mark it by putting a piece of tape on that um, side um, or using a, um, a dry erase marker and just putting a little marking on it. Make sure you mark it with um, on the side that's facing up, okay, not on the side that's facing down. Once you've gotten your spinner, your spin board all together and your spinner, you're going to place your spinner in the center of your board and then just apply light pressure. That's why I'm just using one finger versus multiple light pressure here and spinning. If you put too much pressure, then it's not going to spin as well. There, that's a good spin. Okay, wherever that um, identifiable um, pointer stops, and that's the exercise that you would do. You're going to want to do the, each exercise with the spinner after each spin. Do the exercise for 10, 10 reps and then spin again. Before you start your workout, um, set a timer for 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and then continue spinning until your timer has expired. Um, hope you enjoy both creating your spin board and that you enjoy your workout.